Here's the entire story of Spy X Family in less than 10 minutes. Let's begin. The series follows master spy Twilight, who must disguise himself as psychiatrist Lloyd Forger and build a mock family in order to investigate political leader Donovan Desmond. Unbeknownst to him, his wife Yor is actually an assassin known as the Thorn Princess, while his daughter Anya has telepathic abilities. In order to ease tensions between Westalis and Ostania, Westalis Intelligence Wise, assigns agent Twilight to form a family in Ostania in order to get close to Donovan Desmond, leader of Ostania's National Unity Party. To do this, he'd need to enroll his child into Eden Academy, where he can safely approach Donovan at an event. Twilight, under the identity of Lloyd Forger, adopts Anya, who secretly has telepathic abilities. While Lloyd is away, Anya accidentally reveals their location when sending a transmission to Edgar, a minister in Ostenia, and is kidnapped. Lloyd rescues Anya and forces Edgar to withdraw. Afterwards, Anya passes the admission exam and the two of them are informed that stage two for acceptance into Eden Academy is a formal interview with the presence of both parents. Jor Breyer, a clerk at Berlin City Hall, is ostracized by her colleagues for being single leading to a fear that her secret assassin job would be exposed as she's speculated to be a spy. And then with a stroke of luck, at a tailor shop, Lloyd and Yor encounter each other and agree to form a partnership out of convenience. However, on the night Lloyd is supposed to attend a party with Yor, a side mission causes him to arrive late and accidentally introduces himself as her husband. After they leave, they're caught up by the pursuers from his earlier mission. Yor, upon realizing how beneficial their partnership is for her assassin work, asks if they could continue pretending they're married. Lloyd agrees, using a grenade pin as a ring while pledging their vows. Now legally married, Yor moves in with Lloyd and Anya. But because Anya and Yor fail the mock interview, Lloyd organizes a family outing to various cultural activities to give them a better idea of what upper-class family life is like. When he becomes distressed from losing faith in the success of his mission, Yor takes the family to a park to relax. There, they witness a thief robbing an old woman. After Lloyd, with help from Yor and Anya, apprehend him, the old woman observes that the forgers make a wonderful family. That night, Lloyd conducts another mock interview with better results, and reassures himself that if they can make the old woman think they're a family, then the mission still has a chance. As the forgers arrive at Eden Academy for the interview, they impress Henry Henderson, one of the housemasters, as they overcome multiple screening efforts, including stopping an accidental stampede from the school's farm animals. During the interview with the housemasters, they give satisfactory answers. But Murdoch Swan, a divorcee, deliberately tries to taunt and fail them. With the family enraged and upset, Lloyd ends the interview. After the forgers leave, Henderson punches Swan in defense of the forgers. At home, Lloyd is certain that they failed the interview, but agrees to leave the rest to luck with Yor and Anya's reassurance. Despite failing the interview, Anya is first on the waiting list thanks to Henderson's intervention and is accepted into Eden Academy three days later. While celebrating Anya's acceptance with Frankie, a drunken Frankie spurs Anya into requesting Lloyd to reenact a rescue scene from her favorite cartoon, Spy Wars, as a reward. To satisfy her demands, Lloyd uses Wise's resources to rent a castle and drafts his fellow agents into her reenactment games. After passing through all the obstacles and having a fight with a drunken Yor, Lloyd rescues Anya, with Anya promising to do her best at school for Lloyd's sake. Wise's second phase of Operation Strix involves making Anya an Imperial Scholar to infiltrate the school's gathering and reach Donovan. To do so, Anya must earn eight Stella Stars, while avoiding receiving eight Tanitris Bolts, which is equivalent to an expulsion. While shopping, Yor saves Anya from being kidnapped and agrees to teach her self-defense. On the orientation day, Lloyd secretly arranges for Anya to be in the same class as Damien Desmond, Donovan's second son, as an alternate plan to get her to befriend him. However, during the school tour, Damien's constant bullying towards Anya leads her to punch him. This earns Anya a tonitrous bolt and sours her relationship with Damien, spoiling both of Lloyd's plans. Lloyd continuously pressures Anya to apologize to Damien, despite her new friend Becky Blackbell discouraging her. Once Anya is able to do so when Becky is away, Damien realizes he's starting to develop feelings for her, but rejects her apology out of embarrassment. Believing his second plan to have failed, Lloyd urges Anya to study per Wise's original plan, overwhelming her. Yor then helps Lloyd realize that he'd been pressuring Anya too much, and when he goes to check on her, he notices that she's fallen asleep while studying. 
As Lloyd questions how it feels to have a family, elsewhere, Yuri Breyer, Yor's brother, learns of his sister's marriage. In the evening of the next day, Yuri, who secretly works for the Estonian State Security Service, the SSS, visits Yor after interrogating a wise informant from within the city council. Yuri, who is heavily attached to Yor and finds it hard to accept her marriage, barrages Lloyd with questions, in the hopes of catching him off guard. Realizing that Yuri is using a conversation template by the Estonian intelligence agency, Lloyd deduces that he's a member of the SSS. An inebriated Yuri then requests that the couple kiss in front of him after seeing them act uncomfortable from touching hands, threatening to annul their marriage if they fail to do so. Quite kinky, if you ask me. Yuri attempts to stop the kiss after having second thoughts and receives a slap from a drunk and embarrassed Yor. Ultimately, Yori refuses to accept the marriage, albeit recognizing Lloyd's good nature. Lloyd, however, begins to suspect Yor for having a connection with the SSS, while Yor is insecure about her incompetence as a wife. The next day, Lloyd follows Yor and disguises himself and Frankie as SSS officers to extract information from her, but she conclusively clears their doubt. Lloyd later meets Yor on the way home and advises her to stay true to herself without fretting about her wife Passat. A relieved Yor then expresses her happiness and appreciation for being Lloyd's partner. See, this is a healthy way to treat your partner. Both Anya and Damien hear a rumor about a Stella star being given to the most valuable player in the upcoming dodgeball tournament. On the day of the tournament, Anya and Damien's class face against the athletically gifted Bill Watkins, who eliminates everyone except for them. Throwing away his chance to get the star and be acknowledged by his father, Damien sacrifices himself to protect Anya. And as the last standing player, Anya uses her training from Yor to make the last throw, but fails, losing the game. In the end, though, the rumor turns out to be unfounded, while Anya and Damien's relationship sees little improvement. Lloyd then takes Anya to volunteer at a hospital, hoping to earn Stella stars through community service. However, her poor performance angers the staff and gets them dismissed. By chance, though, Anya detects a drowning patient's distressing thoughts and rushes to save him ultimately earning her the first Stella star. However, at Eden Academy, her classmates spread false rumors about her deeds, although Damien publicly defends her integrity. Listening to Becky and planning to get close to Damien, Anya asks her parents for a dog, to which they agree. Elsewhere, a genetically altered white dog suddenly visualizes the forgers in his mind. After working tirelessly on extra side missions, Lloyd takes Anya and Yor to Berlin's aquarium to convince his neighbors that they're a happy family. However, while he's there, he's forced to undertake another mission, this time to retrieve a microfilm containing chemical weapon plans that's being smuggled in through a penguin. Anya secretly helps Lloyd locate the microfilm-carrying penguin and tricks Yor into apprehending the recipient. Successfully retrieving the microfilm and appeasing his neighbors, Lloyd gives Anya a penguin plushie. Sometime later at home, Anya roleplays a spy mission with her toys. And after Lloyd and Yor reprimand her for attempting to enter their rooms, they're forced to play along to cheer her up. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next one.